Argentina is a country located in South America, known for its magnificent natural landscapes and vibrant cultural history that attracts many tourists. However, Argentina's economic development has been fraught with difficulties, particularly in the area of railway development, which has faced many problems. For example, on February 22, 2012, a train heading to Buenos Aires derailed in a crowded station causing at least 51 deaths and over 700 injuries. According to statistics, the total length of railways in Argentina is approximately 34,000 kilometers, but most of these railways are outdated and poorly maintained. This has led to low transportation efficiency which not only restricts local economic development but also makes logistics transportation a challenge. For instance, in 2019, Argentina's railways transported approximately 17.3 million tons of goods, while the freight volume in 2018 was about 20.9 million tons. What causes the slow development of Argentina's railways? This phenomenon is largely attributed to the control that Britain had over Argentina's railways in the late 19th century. At that time, British entrepreneurs dominated the construction of Argentina's railways, which were mainly designed to connect inland Argentina with port cities for the export of agricultural products and minerals. The dominance and exploitative nature of British enterprises hindered the development of Argentina's railways. To break this situation, Argentina had to seek international cooperation. As China's high-speed railway technology continues to mature and its influence internationally grows, more and more countries are choosing to collaborate with China in building railways. At the same time, Japan's high-speed railway technology has long been considered world-leading, but the high-speed railway project in India has been delayed for a full decade with no resolution in sight. In contrast, China's construction of the Yuan high-speed railway took less than five years from start to completion, fully demonstrating the maturity of China's high-speed railway technology and the efficiency of its construction. According to statistics, China has over 32,000 kilometers of high-speed rail in operation, accounting for more than 20% of the global high-speed rail mileage with trains capable of reaching speeds up to 350 km per hour. Against this backdrop, Argentina is seeking cooperation with China, recognizing China's advanced high-speed rail technology and strong construction capabilities. Therefore, in 2018, Argentina announced an $1.1 billion investment to have China upgrade 1,020 km of railway. This investment will help improve Argentina's aging railway system, increase freight and passenger transport efficiency. China will upgrade the railway lines between three provinces in Argentina, including signal equipment, tracks, and bridges, and also introduce new locomotives and freight cars to increase transportation volume. The investment amount of this cooperation project is huge making it one of the largest railway investment projects in Argentine history. This cooperation not only helps Argentina promote railway reform, but also strengthens economic and trade relations between China and Argentina, further promoting the implementation of the Belt and Road Initiative. Additionally, this project is an important step for Argentina to break free from British control. As early as the beginning of the 20th century, Britain began to play an important role in the Argentine railway system, controlling railway operations and management. This situation continued until the mid-20th century, when the Argentine government began to seek ways to break free from British control. Today, Argentina's cooperation with China to upgrade its railway system not only improves the efficiency and safety of the railway system, but also provides important support and protection for Argentina to break free from British control. In addition, this project has broad influence and significance. As the process of globalization accelerates, the construction and upgrading of railway systems have become important means for countries to pursue economic development and enhance national strength. 
the development and construction of China's high-speed railways have been widely recognized and praised worldwide. Through cooperation with China, Argentina's railway system can learn from China's advanced technology and management experience, constantly improving its operational level and service quality. This not only provides Argentina with more convenient, efficient, and safe transportation services but also promotes cooperation and friendship between China and Argentina, injecting new impetus for common development. Due to the project involving dozens of cities and towns, a longer construction period is required. As of now, the project has entered its third year and the engineering progress is going smoothly. It is expected that by 2024, the entire railway line will be completely renovated and upgraded, becoming an important transportation hub connecting various parts of South America.